Hello and welcome to the second part of our Bergfex carving clip. In this video, we'll be showing you exercises that will help you improve your carving technique. It's essential though that you first mastered all the exercises and turn variations from part one. The objective of the videos. More control, more speed, more of an angle and thus even more fun when you're carving. For the first exercise, use your outer hand to push your hips towards the inside of the turn. The inside of your hand is now pointing towards the outside of the turn. That way, you reach a balanced and stable body position. In the second exercise, press your upper thigh with your hand towards the inside of the turn until your calves are parallel. That way, your skis cut the same amount into the snow and they stay parallel too. As a third exercise, shift your weight alternately to front and rear. The aim here is to introduce a slight swaying motion into the carving turn. To start the turn, shift your weight forward to the ski tips. Then at the end of the turn, you'll automatically put more weight on the ski tails. To get an even more stable body position, you can try to reduce the up-down movement you learned from the parallel turn. To do this, in a flat area, place your hands on your knees and move your knees left and right alternately. If that works, do the same movement, but this time without placing your hands on your knees. With a little practice, you'll soon be able to do the same thing in steeper terrain. The more secure you feel, the faster you can carve. Then speed becomes key to having more of an angle and even more fun on the piste. A variation of carving where you get a really good feel for the angle is fun carving without poles. With a little practice, you can soon lean inward so far that you can grab the snow with your hand. Bergfex wishes you lots of fun and success with your practicing.